Hey guys, it's Wolf with Valhalla Gaming, and we are back in Astroneer with our base that we just started on our new save. As you can see, I did a little bit of um, exploring, I built myself a rover, got a bunch of uh, carbon because we have a generator right here that I found down in our cave. But other than that, I haven't really done anything major. So actually, come over here, we've got 5,000 bytes of data, which is beautiful. We need aluminum alloy and rubber for that thing. Yeah. Because we need the... Where is it? Is it over here? It's somewhere over here. I gotta find it. Where are you? Is it down here somewhere? Am I just missing it? No. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay. We need a shuttle. And along with the shuttle, we need an engine... Solid fuel thruster. So we need these two. And then we can deal with everything else. So let's, uh... I think we need the large printer, actually, to build the... Dang it. Do we need the large printer? I think so. Buggy large printer just needs three compound. That's not too hard. We have three compound over here. Yay! Let's get three compound. And do we have any more resin? Let's fill this up and get some resin. Yeah, I don't think that'll be enough for all the resin we need. Boy. Oh no. What have I done? Oh no, that'll be perfect. Because we need to make another one of these platforms for the printer. Awesome. Well, we'll put the printer on this platform and then plug another one of those platforms in. Anyway, um, let's uh, get this large printer built. And we can kick our generator on. There we go. Oh wait, there we go. Perfect. So we do have a solar panel, a medium solar pan or medium and a small solar panel, a bunch of these carbons made for our generator over here, and uh, some smaller wind turbines that I threw, and we also have a battery, or two batteries that I found. So as you can see, our battery over here is charging. We're actually making a surplus of power for once. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we have all of our, not organic, resin. Yes, you. We also have a generator back here for any organic we might get, but uh, don't really see the point in using that right now. That's almost done building. Awesome. And once that's done building, we'll build another one of these uh, medium platforms so we can throw all this uh, power stuff on there and connect it and have our little power grid area right here. Beautiful. And then we can put our large printer over here where I have some storage items. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I like it, I like it. Yay, all right, we have that. Now let's get a platform built. Platform B, there we go. All right, and while we do that, we're gonna transfer this guy over here. So let's get all of you off of that. And we're gonna disconnect all of this. Yes, I also found some um, other items. So uh, we got some copper and some work lights going. I have a work light on my backpack now, which makes it very, very nice. All right, let's unplug that. Beautiful, beautiful. We now have our printer here, and we're going to put him right here facing inward because I don't think there's anything big enough that he's going to print that cannot be print. Why are you not even? Oh, you're off kilter. Okay, that makes sense. Get him off of that. And you come right here, maybe? And right, nope. Nope, okay, whatever. Maybe I just should have pulled you forward a little bit like that. That works. Okay. Whatever. Nope. Now this has to come forward. Dang it. Why am I a perfectionist? All right. Have that. Then we put you here. This is just some extra storage stuff for now. We have another one of our platforms that we're going to throw right here for energy purposes. Probably... Yeah, it's close. We'll fine-tune it in just a second. Let's get this fine-tuning. Eh. Right there. Beautiful. Meh. Eh. 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 Come on, you. Hate trying to fine-tune these things. Oh, it's also because I have it facing the wrong way. That might help a lot. Beautiful. Okay. Then we just plug those in, and then we plug you into 
here, and that's all got power now. Beautiful. And then we can just take our battery and stuff and put it over here for now until we can get some more stuff going. Perfect. All right, so what do we need for our shuttle? Two aluminum. We should have some aluminum from earlier. Yay, we have aluminum. Yay. All right, so we have aluminum going. So let's get the small shuttle. Oh, nope. There we go. Let's build the small shuttle. And while the small shuttle's going, we can also start work on our uh, small engine. We need a solid fuel thruster, which is aluminum and ammonium. I could have swore I got some ammonium. Oh, yep, it's over there. Okay, so we have aluminum and ammonium. Perfect. Let's get two. We'll make a backup. Uh, we'll make a backup. Freaking uh, English escapes me. A backup engine, just in case. There we go, a thruster. Perfect. During the day, we can shut our generator off. Uh, power is not perfect at all during the day, but it still works for most things. And let's look at what else we can research. We need... Mm, what do we need? What do we need? Some shredders would be nice. Some of these extra large platforms are going to be really nice. So I'm very curious. I don't want to go the classic route. So every time I've played this game, the end goal is obviously a uh, RTG. Ratio, radio, thermic, isotopic generator, whatever you want to call it. Wherever it's at. It's somewhere around here. I think it's down here. Yeah. So this has always been our end goal is the RTG. I would really like to have a different source of power for once. So I'm not sure if it's like purely solar, a mixture. I want y'all's opinion. So let me know what you all think I should put on my base for power. Obviously, some of my rovers will eventually get RTGs, the bigger ones, so I can just go without power. But our base itself, I would like to make sufficient off of other energies. And we have one thruster. So let's put that there. And we're going to... Let's see what we need to research. What is next? What should we research next? Extra large. Uh, we don't have enough for this platform yet. We need 5,000. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Hmm. That platform is going to be pretty much what the base is built out of, though. Is that, in these curved platforms, is I'm going to build a giant ring? Probably here. If not here, then uh, once we get to the purple over there and we activate some stuff. That'll definitely be the goal. This will still be our outpost, but all of the things you see here will literally get taken and moved over there. So that'll happen. Let's see. We have tethers. We have a freaking fuel thruster. So let's bring our oxygenator, because uh, we have the uncanny ability just to recall that anytime we need. And it won't really mess with our base too much. We're going to put our beacon over here. And I just have the beacon so I can find the base, because it actually is taller than the base locator. Whenever I'm traveling. And we're going to go find a planet. I'm not sure which planet. I could deal with some iron. I could deal with a lot of things right now. Actually, we need the chemical... Let's go to the moon first. We're going to go to the moon. Need some stuff from the moon. What is on the moon? I forget. I don't know anymore. We're going to the moon, though. To solo, here we come. Yay! One small step for Astroneer, one giant step for Astroneer kind. Oh look, there's the purple. Perfect. Can I land there? Actually, I can! Alright, we'll land next to the purple. Perfect. I'm pretty sure the purples here are only on the north and south poles for DeSolo, as they are on all of the moons, so it makes it really nice just to land next to them, because you already know you're on a pole. Alright, so let's get out. Let's see what we need for the... Where are you at? Is it right here? Okay, so let's get the chemistry lab. Needs tungsten, glass, and ceramic. And then after that, we'll need the atmospheric condenser. Okay, so we need tungsten, glass, and ceramic. Let's see if we can't... Well, two of those are pretty easy to find. The tungsten is going to be a bit of an issue. So let's see if we can't... Get some research here. Nice, 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 nice. And we're gonna explore a cave. Why not? That's what astroneers do, right? 
We explore caves. Oh, no, 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 no. What is that? Is that... That's clay. I think. Yeah, that's clay. Let's, uh, make a way down, shall we? Um, hmm. Interesting, interesting. Is there not a way down from right here? I don't think there's a way down right here. Interesting. We may be in danger. Oh, no. Wait. Let's not slide. See if we can't just... Maybe... Should have some soil here, so let's just see if we can't make a way down. Oop. Not really what I wanted to do, but okay, that works. And that should get us down here. There we go. Okay, we're in the cave. We have plenty of aluminum in front of us, so we'll get some aluminum. And uh, we're also going to try and rebuild... Not rebuild, but uh, get at least the same amount of supplies we left with. So uh, we left with one... Ooh, that's a working uh, medium generator. That will work on the base. We can bring that back with us. Awesome. See? Already making plans. So we got a already working generator. Beautiful. We're going to take that back to the shuttle and throw that where our... It will take the place of where our uh, oxygenator goes. But not right now. So we'll have two generators. Yay! Two jennies. All right, this is cave is going to get a little confusing trying to get in and out of, but we got it. We got this. Let's go. All right, so we've got two Jennies now, and let's go back down. What is that? Is that quartz up there? That is. Quartz and clay. What do you know? We have everything but tungsten now for the, uh, no, don't fall. I'd rather not die here. Whoop. Down here? Yep. All right, let's see if we can find some tungsten. I forget if this planet even has tungsten. Let me... Um, not creative mode. Astroneer basic planets. There we go. Um, Salphilorite and Wolframite. Okay, so where do we get tungsten? I forget. Tungsten, tungsten, tungsten. Wolframite. Isn't Wolframite... Oh, no. Wolframite is tungsten. I'm almost positive. I just have to find it now. So let's go on a little exploration here get some research and find some tungsten it might be a little bit deeper I don't think it's in the first level of cave I'm gonna scan these guys though because we always need some resources and some research oh wait is that tungsten over there sticking out of the roof is that green no I think that's all wait maybe no nope darn it okay what is that that's glass quartz okay don't need quartz. Need tungsten. Where is the tungsten? I need tungsten, guys. Where is tungsten at? Is tungsten deeper down? Let's uh grab these guys. One second. Make sure that's still going. Okay, sorry about that. My recording software is a little finicky and sometimes it stops. And I have to triple check it. Already do double check. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's not die. No, 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 no. Let's make a path here. Um, mm, can I get a somewhat smooth polygon? Thank you. Smooth the polygon. Yes, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't wait. Do y'all still want to see that creative? Let me know in the comments if y'all want to see the creative mode. Um, there's a lot to do. And I think it'd just be really fun to just have whatever you want for creative mode. So if you don't want to see a creative mode playthrough, just let me know. I guess it's not really a playthrough, but more of just a building at that point. But, you know, I think it'd be fun. All right, let's grab you and bring you over here. All right, we have made it to the surface. Let's look around. Yep, there's some tungsten. Beautiful. Let's, um, well, we can hold one, two, three, four, five tungsten. All right, let's fill up our pack. We can hold five tungsten. So let's get some. Beautiful. Oh, we have a bunch of it up here, too. There's one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Beautiful. Successful landing, as always. Not really. I've had many landings that were not nearly this successful. Um, we have a little bit more dirt, so I would like to expand our landing just a little bit. There we go. 
All right, and we just follow our tethers out. That's simple. That's why we have tethers, until we can get the portable oxygenator. I wish they had a portable RTG. Developers of the game, make that if you're listening. A portable RTG would be awesome. Just infinite resources, essentially. And let's flatten some of this out real quick, just so I can have a smooth landing down here. Okay, oh, wrong button. And let's just go. We've got Wolfamite. Everything else should be easy now. Nope, getting out of here is still a little difficult. That's fine. So we're going to leave the oxygenator here. Throw the generator in. Hop in, and we're going to go home. Yay, launching. We'll be back one day, purple. I promise. wonder if anything spawned in around us, though. I wonder if the... Uh, is the um, lunar lander still on the moon? I don't know if the lunar lander is on the moon anymore. Interesting. I guess I'll have to go find it. This is a save to do everything. The save to rule all saves. Oh! <laughs> there goes that. Okay. Let's see if we can find home quickly. Home? 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 There's home. Oh, we have a landing zone literally right next to our purple over here, too. That's on the pole. That's nice. So this is the north pole that we're passing over right now. And this is home. Wait, no, that wasn't the North Pole. That must have been uh, along the Prime Mer No, not Prime Meridian. That must have been along the equator. There we go. Beautiful. So let's get this generator off. And see if we can't make some room for him. Uh, that may be a little bit trickier than expected. Let's put a generator here then. There we go. And we can just turn it off for now and put some to feed it. Actually, let's put a full thing on there. Beautiful. Kind of. Actually, if we do that, we can just do this and then kind of feed that and put that over here. Okay, that works for now. Two generators and two things to feed it. Perfect. Kind of. And we have some stuff we need to smelt, so let's get to smelting. Smelt for me, my Wolfamite. They fixed it. Finally, the um, smelter grabs from the actual things around it, so that's really nice. Thank you for fixing that in one of the updates. I'm not sure which one. I'm sure I'll find out eventually, or somebody will let me know in the comments. Take this off. Uh, we do need to research the shredder now, though, because we are starting to make debris, and I do not want a lot of debris. So where is the medium shredder? It is two iron. Um, is iron a raw resource? Yeah, iron's the raw resource, so we need a medium... We'll get the medium shredder for now. What does the large shredder require? Iron and tungsten carbide, and I think there's the extra large shredder now? Yeah, the extra large shredder, steel times two tungsten. So we'll start with the medium. Where are you? And we need two iron, which means we need to go to um, the blue planet. Can't remember its name. I'm forgetful. And while we're here, we're going to pink all of this which is fine. Um, that's just going to plug into that. Keep everything going. Because we needed our this. We needed you. Take you, put our oxygenator back, and then put our medium printer back somewhere for now. And our small printer. We don't really need those two items right now. What we do need is two iron, though. So let's go get some iron, shall we? We have our oxygenator. We do. Let's go ahead and launch. And we're going to go to the blue planet. Blue. Away we go. And get some iron from... Um, why can't I remember its name now? I'm just drawing a blank. Anyway, I hope y'all are enjoying this game. Uh, the new save, so much smoother than the old one. They've optimized it. There's not nearly as much trash. It's quite a fun time. Quite a fun time indeed. Yay to whatever planet you are where we have iron. Where are you? Am I just blind? Yep, there we go. All right, let's see. Where are we going to land? Where are we going to land? Eeny, meeny, miny. Yep, you. We have left the planet. Let's see what's over here. Can we get some iron relatively close? I don't see any iron. Oh, never mind. I take that back. Iron right there. Let's get some. Throw down a couple of these bad boys so we don't suffocate. 
And we can carry quite a bit of iron with us, so that's nice. We can also carry a research item. Eh, there we go. Just trying to clear my backpack out of all these tethers, really. Alright, so let's see what's up here first. Other than an explodey boy. I see a horn. Do, should we bring a horn back? Beep, beep. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we've got six of that. You're about to explode, so let me just kill you. And steal your research. Yeah, why not? All right, um, would really like some ammonium, though. Ammonium would be really nice, because we've already spent two ammonium and have yet to restock. So let's see if we can find some ammonium, maybe. I know this planet has ammonium, just not sure where. Or if it would be in these fields, maybe? Hmm. How do y'all farm ammonium? Let me know down in the comments below how y'all get ammonium, because it seems to be really the only resource I struggle with is ammonium for rocket fuel. Let's see if there's any up here, other than these explodey boys. Get away, explodey boys. Not going to be building a secret base on this planet. Well, not for now, anyway. I don't see any ammonium. Maybe I do. Maybe I'm just blind. We'll have to go back to uh, the sol not the solo Silva and get some ammonium. Oop. Oh, there's some uh, glass right there too. But we need to go back make our chemistry lab. I believe was our goal right now. The chemistry lab and a few other things. So let's go. We have the iron for the shredder now, so that's all we needed. And that's all we uh, yeah that's all we needed really from here was iron to build that shredder. Not going to stay and explore too much. We don't have the resources for a long expedition, and we don't have the shuttle for a long expedition. Can the extra-large shredder shred the shuttle? Do y'all know if the extra-large shredder can shred the shuttle? If you know, let me know down in the comments, because I have no idea. Hopefully I clicked on Silva. I think I did. <laughs> Please don't tell me I clicked on the solo. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh, okay, we did. I was about to be really worried. Um, where's home? I mean, home is on one of the poles, so let's just... Where's the north pole? Can I have a cardinal directions? Something, maybe? Just look for the beacons. Where's the beacons? That is the only bad thing about this. I wish there was just a go home button. Like, you have C and V, make B to go back to your base on this planet. Like, if you have a landing pad or something, you call home on this planet. Otherwise, you're just sitting here for 17 hours, waiting for the planet's rotation, slowly, slow, there's our home over there on the right, but slowly, slowly drifting through space and time, and I'm mumbling again, aren't I? Let's go. So we need the shredder, and we need the chemistry lab. So that means we need some other stuff as well, but those are the two big ones. There we go. Get out, put our oxygenator where it goes. There we go. Get our debris here off of you. Let's get this little guy going again. Actually, we're just going to put him over here because he's going to get deleted pretty often. As is that other printer, so we're just going to put you right here. Unpack it. And while we do that, we're going to... All right, so now we need three resin for the platform. Or we're going to need two platforms, so we're going to need six resin. Okay, easy. Fill it up. Didn't have enough soil. How much are we going to get? Five? All right, we're going to get some soil real quick. Let's just slide down here while we do this. Whee! There's also resin somewhere in this cave. I just can't remember where. But this is an easy way to get resin. Let's just collect it like that. I'm pretty sure there's resin that I fell past in the cave, though. Oh, here's resin. Screw it. We'll just get see if we can get... Oh, we our backpack is full. Dang it. Okay, let's empty the backpack while we do this. And make our roof a little bit wider. Because we only need enough for one more resin. So that should be enough for one right there, actually. This cave is starting to develop quite nicely. Quite enjoy how it looks. There we go. Alright, so now we should be able to max you out. There we go. 
Now let's get six resin. That'll give us eight. Even better. Uh, we have too much tungsten here, so we're just going to throw it in the back over here. Three, four, five tungsten for now. And we're going to put all of our iron here. Three, four, five, six. Um, let's turn on our generators. There we go. Full power. Full power. Beautiful. And then once this guy's done spinning, we'll turn off a generator or two. There we go. So it's done, so we can turn off generators. And that can just take up as much power as it needs, because we don't need that anymore. And now we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because we're going to make a small storage as well. So let's get another platform built, large platform B. So that's going to print... Uh, it's going to print relatively slow. Let's turn these on again. Yeah, there we go. Full power. Beautiful. So that's going to print, and then we're going to uh, use that for the shredder and the one that's going to come after it for the other... For the... Uh... Oh, you know what we're going to need now that we have all that, though? We're going to need the trade shuttle, too. Do we have enough for the trade shuttle? We don't. We need 2,500. Okay. So we need to do some research farming. Too bad Raven's not here. That's typically her job. Just a little bit of research farming. But that'll be okay. That'll come... I'll probably do that between episodes. And honestly, I'm not sure how soon the next episode's gonna be. I think I have like eight days until I pack my computer. And then, like I said, guys, probably two months between the next video and this one. So we'll see. Um, ideally, things don't get that bad. You know, ideally my computer gets shipped relatively quickly. But I can make no promises when you're shipping anything across the Atlantic, be it through air or sea. So we're just going to put you here, connect you, and then we're going to print a chemistry lab. We need tungsten, glass, and ceramic. Okay. So we should have glass, yes. Tungsten, yes. I don't think we have ceramic. Ooh. Oversight on my part. How much for clay? Can we get a clay? Yes, we can get one clay. Okay, beautiful. Let's get that going. And we have some resin still, which is fine. Let's put all this resin in our backpack, and that'll be our next platform and our storage medium. Actually... Let's get the storage built. Let's uh, throw you over here for now. Let's get a small storage. Let's get a large platform B. Those are going to print. Turn these guys back on so we can get some full power. Yep, there's our small storage. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. That'll go right here. Unpack it and then lay it flat. I love how you can expand those at will now. It makes things like this so much prettier. Instead of how it used to just be the two that stand up and these two automatically deployed. Alright, let's get one clay. Once we have the one clay, we'll also need two iron for our shredder. And then one clay for our chemistry lab. Beautiful. And then we can start shredding stuff and next episode we can start just requesting supplies from Exodynamics. Let's get that. And once this is done printing, we'll be good to go to print our other two items. Yay! Love it. Oh, look at my base. It's so pretty. Actually, how does that look from right here? I'm very curious. Let's be a photographer for a second. Three, two... Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Can't say that's not pretty. All right, let's turn this a little bit like this. It's going to be the corner of this base, kind of. As you can tell, I love doing the semicircle design for bases, so now we're going to print the soil centrifuge chemistry lab. There we go. Let's get the chemistry lab going so we can get some more constructive materials, like rubber and silicone and gunpowder and whatnot. Uh, we need to get some more ammonium, and then in here, if you can't tell, this is actually my quarry slash where my base, uh, I'm not sure if they're ever going to reintroduce 
um, storms, but if they do reintroduce storms, this is where the storm shelter is going to be, essentially. And my uh, bunker to hide my vehicles in. So I'll just hide all my vehicles in here. It'll be my, my garage of sorts. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Let's move you into the garage. Whee! Oh, God. See, look at that. Perfect for a rover or several. There we go. Okay, now you can stay in the garage. Perfect. I love how they brought back this almost true flat. I don't... They did bring back true flat, actually, with that new um, update, because they have the new leveling tool. You just have to go... Like, I talked about it, we have to go to the center. All right, so we've got that. Now we just need the... Is the shredder built over here? It does only require... Yep, there we go. Medium shredder. Yay! So we've got that. We've got our chemistry lab. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, everything's coming together quite nicely now, is it not? Here's our shredder. So we should be able to shred those engines. I'm not sure if a medium shredder will actually shred those engines. I think you need the large one. Have I duped myself? Are you kidding me? Okay, so we can get rid of some debris... But we can't get rid of our engines. Dang it. How much for the next shredder? Where's the medium shredder? 2,500 tungsten carbide and iron. Okay. Well, we needed the chemistry lab regardless. We have the small shredder, or the medium shredder. We need the large shredder. Uh, we'll probably just grind up the small shredder, or medium shredder, anyway. Unfortunately, this is all the time I have for today's episode. Thank y'all for joining me, and as always, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.